नमस्कार आशीष मित्तल फ्रॉम आर्सन वुड्स दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एक्सपोर्ट प्रोसेस इफ यू आर आउट ऑफ इंडिया एन यू लुकिंग टू इम्पोर्ट समथिंग गेट फ्रॉम इंडिया टू योर प्लेस वेर एवर यू आर I'll explain the process entirely and I'll let you know how it can be done. A lot of people have this notion, this uh, thinking that it's very difficult, there's a lot of paperwork and how can I do it? So I'll explain everything and after this video, I can assure you 99% of your questions will be answered. If still there are any questions, we are happy to talk. The number I'll provide you, you can talk to us and I'll give you the answers. First thing first, how difficult is the process so let me simplify it the process is quite simple when the process is defined properly it gets simple and that is why import or getting stuff to your place is not difficult at all first of all let me talk about the company itself arson woods private limited is an international trademark in more than 35 countries USA, UK, Singapore, and uh, Australia, and entire European Union, we have got trademarks, and we have delivered to a long list of countries. I'll read the list because it's a long list. So we have delivered to USA, Canada, UK, and uh, in Euro Europe, we have Germany, Netherlands, Italy, Switzerland, France, Sweden, Hungary. Then we have Singapore, Malaysia, Mauritius, Hong Kong, Australia, New Zealand, Oman, UAE, Qatar, Ghana, West Indies, Nepal, Japan, South Africa. So all these countries we have already delivered our stuff. And if you check the testimonial section on our website, you will see a lot of pictures from the client's place. So you can easily check that we have already delivered across the globe. And the same is reflected in our online reviews also. Now how the shipment goes? Basically there are two methods. First is by air, other is by sea. So every item that is not very big, very huge, we can transport it by air easily. And by air, it comes directly to your door. You just need to pay the duty, the custom duty that is applicable in your country, in your customs, and the stuff will be delivered to your place. We use companies like uh, TNT, FedEx, both are same now, and we have DHL, and UPS also. So whichever company gives us a better rate, we use that company and deliver the stuff to your place. Very huge items like the entire house furniture cannot be delivered by air because it gets too expensive. Now about the air charges. Every country has got specific charges that ranges from 250 rupees per kg and that can go up to 1500 rupees per kg also depending on the location. So when you select the stuff, you tell us that this is what you want. We check the size, the weight, and we let you know what the charges would be to your place. Every item has got different charges. Further to this, the weight is also calculated on two aspects. One is the actual weight and one is the volumetric weight. Whichever is higher is the chargeable weight. Volumetric means the length, breadth, and the height multiplied together in centimeters divided by 5000 so that is the volumetric weight so sometimes it happens that the actual weight of unit is 30 kgs but when you calculate the dimensions because it's a bigger box it can go up to 40 50 60 kgs so it will be charged on that weight and what you have to pay extra is the custom duty we do not pay custom duty here because that is charged by the custom department in your location so that is paid there. So by air, the only thing that we don't charge you is the custom duty, the duty part that is to be paid in your location. Another interesting thing about the duty is these days, a lot of FTAs, free trade agreements are in place. So some countries have only 5% duty. The countries that have around 20% duty are also in the process. So very soon we'll have free trade agreements across the globe. So duties would be much lesser. Now moving on to the bigger stuff, the bigger stuff that goes by C. In C, we have two modes, LCL and FCL. LCL refers to less container load. So let's say you have only a sofa set or you want something like a bed to be delivered to your place. 
So that is not a complete container. So that is LCL and we deliver that too. So even if you like a single unit, we can deliver that to your place. Charges part, I'll talk a little later. Let me explain the load part first. So LCL and the second is FCL. FCL is full container load. And containers comes in two forms, 20 feet and 40 feet. They have a limited capacity. Based on container size, 33 CBM and 67 CBM. There are uh, different uh, dimensional sizes. CBM refers to cubic meter. So the dimensions multiplied together, it gives us cubic meter size also. So 20 feet or 40 feet container, whichever is required as per your requirement, as per your furniture volume, we will provide that container to you. So both points are covered, LCL and FCL, and we deliver both. Now coming on to the charges part. There are some standard charges like the custom duties that are to be paid here and that are to be paid in your place. Then there are agent charges, paperwork, then we have uh, these uh, docking charges, warehouse charges. These are all standard charges and these are on every shipment. So whether you are buying a single, uh, single bed or a single uh, sofa or you are buying a whole container, some charges remain the same. So what really happens is, if you are buy buying small quantity, these charges tend to seem a little higher as compared to a bigger volume. The other charges are depending on the size. So the freight, the freight in your place, the carrying charges, unloading charges, all this depends on how big, how volume changes. These charges again depends on the volume size. Now, in the charges, further details are about what charges to be paid in India or what charges you can pay outside India. I'll explain that too. There are people, agents, uh, who we call the CHAs, clearing house agencies, who take care of everything. Your and our job is to send and receive. Rest everything is done by the CHA. So your role is very limited. They inform you that the stuff is about to arrive and you need to sign some authority letters like uh, because someone is getting cleared the stuff and getting delivered, so there are some little documentation part that has to be done. So basically the role is only to know what is happening and give them the required documentation and the duty and charges. Rest everything is handled by the CHAs. Same is our case, we only have to hand over the stuff and the paperwork. Rest everything is handled by them. So the process very simple on our side and your side and they know their work, the CHAs know their work. So it's really, really simple. About the charges part, there are two charges. One charge is from here to the custom port where you are receiving the stuff. So any nearest port, it could be a sea port or a dry port that is nearest to your place. So you tell us that you want stuff in New Jersey, we deliver there. Or you want something on a dry port, we deliver there. And the charges are till that port. So what we call it is port delivery. So when you offer port delivery, the charges that are outside the port, so charges there, unloading from the sea, then the warehouse charges, then their charges, uh, the handling charges, custom duties, custom agent fees, and delivery to your place is built on your account by the local agent in your country, not in India. So the delivery has two options, port delivery and home delivery, and we do both. So if you opt for home delivery, all the charges you have to pay to us, will pay to the agent, and the agent will deliver the stuff to your place. Again, the custom duties would be paid there only. We do not charge custom duty here, because the custom officer in the port will charge those duties and let you know this is the charge you have to pay. As I mentioned, process is not difficult at all process is simple, just a little coordination is required. About the paperwork that I mentioned, the paperwork is basically to confirm that yes, you are the person who is getting the stuff imported to the country. So rules are laid, rules are defined and it's very simple and the same for everybody. Anything that you want to confirm can be easily confirmed on any port. Every seaport has a website, there's a list of registered agents, you pick any name 
contact him, let him know that I'm expecting some stuff from India. He'll ask you a few details like the package size, the weight, what item you are importing, a few questions, and then he can give you the entire charges and the process just like I explained. Further to this, I'll also explain how we break up the cost. Once we hire an agent here in India, the agent hires another agent on the port and the port agent will hire further people to deliver the stuff to your place. So multiple people are involved. If you want to handle the delivery from the port to your place yourself, that can also be done. It saves a little cost, not a big cost, but definitely it will be a little less costlier. So you call us, you let us know what you want. We give you all the charges, whichever you select, we do that. We have done it for hundreds of clients across the globe. We have delivered across the globe in several countries, the names of the countries I've already told you. And if there is a particular requirement in that country, we know that because we have done it. For example, fumigation. Fumigation is required. How to do it? What are the processes? How the certificate goes? The declaration, the Lacey Form Act, the plant and species form, all these we have done already. And you need not worry about it. We and our agents know that. They send a documentation, we complete that and we deliver to your place. So, simple process. Let me summarize one more time. Air delivery, sea delivery. In air, we deliver to home. In sea, we can deliver to port or we can deliver to your home. So, be assured that process we know, we have delivered, we know the process, we know what the packing is, how it is done because so many people have already received their stuff. Now the last thing, what if the stuff gets broken, if there is a damage or there is a loss of stuff in transit, the shipments are insured. The moment the shipment is ready to leave our premises, we insure it from here to your place. So if anything happens to any stuff, we can put a claim to the insurance company and they take care of that. Generally, there could be minor issues like, like a little, little scratch or something because the stuff is bigger and you have to get it inside home, unpack it, place it. In those cases, minor issues can be rectified there itself and that can be sorted. Now the last thing, how the stuff is assembled. Let's say you get a jula or a bed what items you will get, how you will assemble that in your place. See, we are doing exports for a long time and we know very well that the labor and the, the handymans and the expert people are quite costly outside India. So what we do is we try to make every item very simple assembly. But yes, you need people to handle the stuff because our stuff is not lightweight, it's solid wood and that requires people to handle it. But Without any expert help, you can easily assemble the stuff. Hundreds of our clients have already done it. And in whichever item we felt there is a slight issue, we have changed it and now we have rectified everything to make it very simple. So this is the entire process of getting stuff to your country, wherever you are. If still you have any question, the number is right here. We'll be happy to talk to you, explain everything in detail. Any question you have, we'll be happy to take that. Hope this information is good enough to resolve the queries. Thank you. Dhanavad.